another national officer of the People's Democratic Party. Hello, madam. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Ambassador Fidelia Akrabata in Jersey. All right, all right. Now, looking at the People's Democratic Party, this is an attempt to bring the party back. How well have, have this convention fared? Thank you very much. From uh, the, uh, the turnout today, um, you can see that, um, that uh, people are really ready. People are, people are boys and they are, and they are uh, excited to ensure that we get it right this time around. Because um, what I consider what is happening today is a litmus test. Testing how prepared we are within the party. For the first time, we're trying to ensure that we practicalize internal democracy in the party by allowing every candidate, okay, by allowing every candidate that have indicated interest to run to ensure that he or she runs. We're, we're, we're not um, imposing any candidate on, uh, on any, 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 any person. There's no imposition this time around. So we're, what we are trying to do is to battle impunity in the party because that was what actually uh, dealt with the party before. So it was our greatest undoing and we are trying to ensure that we fight against impunity in the party because that is what will help us to elect credible candidates that will move the party forward in our bid to reposition the party for us to wrestle power back. Thank you, madam. Thank you. I want to thank you for this time you've given to us. All thank right. you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. That's uh, trying to wrestle the PDP and battle what they call impunity. But if you can see, you can see this, the ballot boxes are around here and they are waiting, security men manning these boxes and they are waiting to look at, uh, to start the process. But what had just happened now, the, form, the governor of, um, uh, the form, governor of Bayelsa State, that is uh, countryman Syriac Dixon, just raised the motion for the amendment of the uh, constitution of the People's Democratic Party and a lot of, a, a lot of sections of the uh, constitution was actually amended and it was seconded. That is a precaution or to the what we are going to have today the election I saw uh, finally I also have another guest with me thank you for joining us on TBC thank you what's your name sir dr. Bella Mohammed oh the former chairman of the People's Democratic Party all right looking at this party the party was threatened, the survivor was threatened in the last one and a half years when it was factionalized. How happy and how sure are you that the People's Democratic Party is going to bounce back to its glory days? Well, after two years of tribulation, I'm happy to say that the PDP has been restored. It has been placed on a pedestal by the people of this country. The response we have seen during our congresses at world, local government and state level has assured us that the people of Nigeria are fed up with the failures of APC and they are now looking up to PDP to salvage the country. Uh, as you know, the unity of this country was never more challenged than during the tenure of this government in the last two years. And the PDP is a, a pan-Nigerian party. We are the party of national unity. And the people of Nigeria have shown clearly that they are not ready to break up the country. And they are looking up to PDP to come up and set up the structures that will keep this country together. PDP will make sure every part of this country has a sense of belonging in the party and in the forthcoming government. I want to thank you so much. You. I wish you the best of luck. That's the former chairman of the People's Democratic Party. And uh, over to you, Lagos, Veronica, on standpoint. All right, uh, Ayo, before we let you go quickly, um, uh, Buriji Kashamu, that's Senator Buriji Kashamu, was suspended for a month, but we haven't gotten details. Possibly you could tell us more about that. Yes, I'm tell, I, I, told you, I told you earlier that some, can, some of the aspirants actually stepped down this morning. Jimmy Agbaje has stepped down. Yesterday night, um, 
Chief Bodhi Judge stepped down, Chief Rashidi Adewalu Lado Judge stepped, uh, stepped down, and we still expect more because the whole essence of this is that as many people that can step down from the southwest, it makes it easier and it brightens the chances of the southwest to clinch the chairmanship race. Don't forget, we just have two other candidates from other regions. We have Chief Raymond Alelbo Topasi still in the race, and we have Chief Uche Sekondos still in the race. So they are looking for a situation from what you heard from the governor. He said they've been appealing and reaching out to this um, aspirant to step down so that when we have one person, they'll be able to face the, uh, the people from the South-South so that for the first time, the Southwestern part of the country can at least produce the next chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Verinka. Thank you, Aya, for the contribution live from the Eagle.